It is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is David Boston. I'm here with the lovely one, my wife, Wendy. Um, and uh, what we want to do is we want to talk about Mike Hobbs below is did a real good, interesting little video about uh, educating your children right. And it's something that uh, we have stood for for a long time. Now, Mike mentions a book by Robert Kiyosaki called um, it's called Rich Kid, Smart Kid. Well, Rich Kid, Smart Kid. I- I'll move it, Wendy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, here it is. Rich Kid, Smart Kid, okay? And we have a lot of Robert Kiyosaki's books. And Mike's going to talk about uh, some things that are, in the, that are in the introduction to that book. However, I wanted to bring my wife out only because... Well, let me tell you this first. Uh, back in... or well, before 1996, I know it was. I wrote a book called Wealth Within 72 Hours. And a lot of the principles that Robert Kiyosaki talks about in his books, I actually mentioned before I even knew who Robert Kiyosaki was. So maybe one day I'll get that video. I just I knew it was that before 1996 because I had, did an interview, a video interview about the book with a guy named Bob Hebler in the Albany, New York area prior to that. So prior to his first book, uh, Rob Kiyosaki's first book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, I did the book Wealth Within 72 Hours. And some of the same principles that I just got from experience, as you learn from reading Robert's books, he got them from his rich dad, which was his friend's father, and corresponding uh, information or different information he got from his actual biological dad, which is an educator um, in the uh, state of Hawaii. So the reason I brought my uh, my wife in, I just wanted to bring her in because she's been the educator. She was the one that decided that um, that she wanted to homeschool her children. Now I don't know where she got it from, and it's all good. It's all good because she wasn't homeschooled. She went through public schools all her life or private schools and maybe you want to address that um, but anyway so we homeschooled all of our children and our homeschooling and she's primarily the person doing it so she felt uh, that the education was so important and what I want to just bring to your attention is the fact uh, that um, instead of just doling out our children to a system that's teaching them like Mike is going to tell you in the video below to just be educated to be participants in the industrial age that's passed, we need to re-educate our children. But the first thing we need to do is we need to re-educate ourselves on what works in the information age. And in the book, in the book, uh, Rich Kid, Smart Kid, he talks about that. We bought a lot of Robert Kiyosaki's books. The first one we bought was Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, which was excellent book. We even got played the game with friends. We formulated groups. Uh, the cash flow quadrant. Our kids, they had a, a kids game for the cash flow quadrant. What was that called? Cash flow kids? Or? I think so. It's a cash flow kids. The kids play that, teaching them about getting financially educated about money. Here's one of the great books that, that he has that I really like. If you don't have this book, you need to get this book. It's called Cash Flow Quadrant. It's excellent. If you've been involved in network marketing, here's a book that basically talks about that. That's business school. If you, uh, for people who like helping other people, this is the book to get. If you see, we got a library. We got a plethora of his books. He even has more. Then we had another book called Who Took My Money? Interesting. You need to find out about that. Then here's a good one. It says Retire Young, Retire Rich. One day I'll get this stuff straight. Retire Young, Retire Rich. And then another one we have is called Prophecy, all by Robert Kiyosaki. So we invested a lot of money uh, in education. And I'm just really honestly... Uh, the first thing I want to tell you, uh, well, first or the second, third, or fourth, or whatever it is, is the fact that before you can educate your children, you got to educate yourself because people our age, we were brought up on industrial information with industrial education, and we matriculated into the information age. So if if we're going to educate our children, we have to be educated. And nowadays, we have to educate ourselves, and that's what reading our books. That's what finding books to read, understanding what's going on, uh, keeping an open mindset to always be open to learn new things. And I'm telling you, even though I have these books, you know, I was just going through them and reading some things now. It's time for me to go back and reread because faithful this stuff comes by hearing and comes by reading over and over and over again. The stuff that you got the first time, you didn't get the stuff that you got the first time, you get even more the second time. So keep an open mind and keep reading. Uh, my wife has educated our children uh, from home and we have uh, two that have actually finished the high school process 
already. So I want her to jump in and tell you she's usually not here when I'm when I'm doing a video, but she's a part of this team and she loves what we're doing as far as in our home based business, which has a lot of other benefits as well. But I want her to jump in and just tell you what she felt about uh, homeschooling our children. Well, there maybe the reasons that she decided that she wanted to homeschool. And I just trust us, but we just didn't even, it wasn't even a question. If she wanted to do it, we were going to do it. Has it been challenging at times? Yes, because she needed a partner to go over curriculum. And, you know, that was hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, Wendy, tell us about what you think about educating your children and all that good stuff. Well, how I started doing that, I was doing it anyway. Most mothers, if they're home with their kids, they are home educating. You count their toes, you teach them color, you do that anyway. Then I had a friend of ours who was homeschooling and she would invite us to come along on their field trips. And so from there, I just... Who was that? Mickey McCray. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, great. So from there, I just started, you know, investigating and learning about it and you just do it and most people say oh I can't do that I don't have the patience to do that well the, you don't have to have the patience to do it you get the patience to do it as you do it you don't have to know everything to teach them at home you learn right along with them okay good good and then just it just goes to show you too that um, like um, uh, a lot of people were homeschooled that you probably don't know about I can't name them offhand but Thomas you, Jefferson you know, Go ahead. I think so. To Thomas Jefferson was homeschooled. One of, them. One of the the creator of of the uh, document, the uh, Declaration of Independence. Hmm. See, mm -hmm. uh, and um, and then think about it. it. Even in our company, our company uh, is comprised of the owners are uh, one, two basic college dropouts, one ex homeless guys. Okay, that after they woke up decided to prepare themselves for the information age and now here's an income disclaimer your results may not your results may vary is not typical but now these guys make their money the same way that people in their business make their money and they're making a multiple six figures per month per month I don't know of a college education that would guarantee you that now I am not or we're not against the college education both of us have some college education I'm degreed. She's degreed? Mm -hmm. Okay. Both of us have some college education. And she's even got some work in your master's, on the master's side. But is that the right education? Is that the right education for today? Uh, I can go into deep and all that. And there's probably another blog on here that talks about, you know, college education, where it's going. But we want to talk about getting your children prepared in the information age. But how is that going to happen if they're still getting industrial age Education it needs to be turned up to the information age. And just like Mike is going, Mike's going to tell you a lot of things, a lot of statistics, in the in the uh, video below. You need to prepare yourself for retirement. No longer can we depend on a job or just over broke for retirement. Those things are gone by the wayside. Pensions have been wiped out, destroyed, lost. I know my sister lost over eighty thousand dollars when the market collapsed a couple of years ago. Of her retirement just gone. And they expect you to take care of yourself when you retire. So no, far gone are the days when the, your company you stay with for your whole life and then retire and they take care of you. So if someone, if something has got to change, you got to change in order to take care of yourself. And there's ways to do it. Now think about this. There's more people on the planet now than there was 20, 30, 40 years ago. We reached over 7 billion people on the planet. So the need for the things that the average human needs has not gone away. The manufacturing jobs and all of that stuff has just been moved overseas for cheaper labor, even though there's still a need. All right. So therefore, we've got to learn how to shift as things change in the economy and got to learn how to move. And we got to, like some businesses have done, retool themselves to re-educate. You got to continuously educate yourself to what's going on now. Even the Bible says in Proverbs, it says, any enterprise is built upon wise planning and profits wonderfully by keeping abreast of the facts. So you got to keep abreast of what's going on and not be left, not be left out in the dust. So with that, we want to, when do you have anything else that you want to say? No. You sure? I believe so. <laughs> well, I thank my wife. Go ahead. 
If not, there's always another video at another time. Okay. Well, I thank my wife for joining with me. She is the educator. And our children are, you know, are talented, are, are wonderful. I mean, all of us got rough edges, but, you know, that's a growth thing. Uh, 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 smarter than the average child. Uh, talented beyond the average child because of the attention they got through the homeschooling process and my wife is the principal agent for that so I thank her for what she has done for our children as far as homeschooling and the lessons that they learned were continuously reinforced all the day long and uh, you know it's been it's been um, an experience homeschooling uh, but it's really been worth it we even went through our older children had to uh, as one of their course requirements, had to read this book, The Cash Flow Quadrant, and they had to read, uh, read um, Rich Dad Poor Dad. I don't know. That's right here. Where is it? No, it's business school. Okay. And they had to read Rich Dad Poor Dad as well. So they had to read The Cash Flow Quadrant and Rich Dad Poor Dad as part of their curriculum. And we, I quiz them on it so they know what was up. Even now, every now and then I quiz them on, well, what quadrant is that when they want to do a particular job or a business what quadrant is that in so just to see if they really understood it and they really understand it so the education of our children is the utmost but more importantly that let me reiterate the education that you continuously get and upgrade to is important for you as well because what works for them will work for you it may take a little effort and a little time but you can do it no matter what with that in mind, you know what we always say, good, better, best. Never let it rest until your good is better and your better is best. And remember Ephesians 3.20, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you ask or think according, according to the power that works in you. So you work the power. See you on the next video. Y'all have a great and blessed and wonderful day.